Welcome guys! As with all guides and tutorials, I always try to think of ways to make you a better gamer. And one thing that people struggle with is inventory management. What should you pick up? How much should you carry around? Should you have a pistol or not? And so on. For starters, you have five weapon slots. Weapon slot 1 and 2 are for large weapons. Weapon 3 is a pistol and 4 plus 5 are melee and grenade slots. My first tip here is always have the same type of weapon in slot 1 and always have the same type of weapon in slot 2. For me, I always use assault rifles in slot 1. As I always know when I press 1, I get an assault rifle. And then I use slot number 2 for all other kinds of weapons regardless of it being a shotgun, sniper rifle, SMG and so forth. By setting up this rule, I never even think about which buttons to press, I just instantly know it. Regarding the weapon you pick up for your secondary slot, slot 2, I would advise you to go for a shotgun or a sniper rifle if you find one. SMGs aren't bad, but there's barely any difference in how you would play with an SMG compared to an assault rifle in close combat. Your playstyle with a shotgun would be completely different, allowing you to mix up your game more and making you more unpredictable for your enemy. If you decide to go for a sniper rifle as secondary, that will naturally not work in close quarters, but you'll still have your assault rifle and you'd be able to mix up your game a lot more at mid to long range. So my advice regarding secondary weapon choice is basically to be as unpredictable as you can. Another tip is regarding the pistol slot, slot number 3. If I have a primary and secondary weapon, I throw away my pistol if I have one. The reason is, I like to do a lot of scope swapping. And if I have a pistol without the red dot scope, right clicking the red dot scope in my inventory will apply it to the pistol instead of the weapon I have selected. So if you have an extra red dot, you can apply that to the pistol to avoid this. But really, if you have a primary and secondary weapon, you won't need your pistol. I certainly never had any need for it other than in the very early game. So what should and shouldn't you pick up? Don't carry more than 15 bandages on you if you have one or more first aid kits. If you have six or more first aid kits, there's no need to carry any bandages at all, so just throw them away. And there's really no need to carry more than 200 bullets for assault rifle, 50 bullets for snipers, and if you carry a pistol, 20 to 30 extra bullets should be more than enough. Only pick up stuff you don't need if you plan on dropping it on the ground to deny other players from getting those items. This can be a great strategy to prevent your enemies from getting ammunition, scopes and whatsoever. And don't pick up grenades if you don't intend to use them, as they take up a lot of inventory space that you might need later. If you played this game for just a little while, you'll probably already have experience being killed while looting people or airdrops. Dying while looting is mostly caused by people spending way too much time on looting. Having your inventory clean and with free space will help you tremendously in avoiding spending too much time looting, but there's another thing that will as well. Before looting, make sure you know what you need. It might be a suppressor, it might be an 8x scope, or you might need a new helm. If you have no plan as to what items you're in need of before you start looting, then you have to consider every single item on the enemy player that you're looting. This will for sure make you spend a lot more time looting. So my advice here is to get in there, loot as fast as possible and then run. And yes, sometimes you will miss an item you could have used, but it's certainly better than being killed. And the better you get managing your inventory by only carrying what you need, the faster you'll be able to loot enemies in tight situations later on. Now that's all I had for you in this video. I hope you found it useful. And if you liked it, make sure you like the video and subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time.